so anxious for the completion of the road? The road has been completed as we speak, technically, because for ease of construction and uh, operations, the road was, the construction was divided into three phases. So we have completed phase one as we speak now. Completed phase one. So we just have about maybe 200 meters left for the asphalt overlay. That's the wearing cost. Then the phase two consists of the flyovers and the interchange, while the phase three has to do with the toll gates and the way bridges and the others. How durable is this road? This road yeah. has been constructed to last a minimum of 30 years. 30 years? Yes. Uh, are you giving Nigerians assurance that they won't be repaired within uh, maybe no. five years? No, no, I won't. I, I can't, nobody can guarantee that there won't be repairs. It depends on usage. Even if you agree with me that even if you buy a brand new car or build a brand new house, it depends on the usage that will determine the amount of maintenance work that will do on it. A situation whereby you have an overloaded tanker fall on the road, spill its contents on the road, and then um, in the process, these constituents, the asphalt mix, so they, there's going to be a pothole in that location. So it's going to be subject to repairs. So it is usage, we want to appeal to Nigerians to own what we have. The infrastructure belongs to all of us. Let us use it as if it is a personal property. When we do that, it will be easier for all of us to have a long-lasting uh, When will the first two commence? The first two is co has commenced almost immediately. When we have the underpasses, it will commence any moment from now. The underpasses, that's where we're going to focus on now. Then we'll go now to the interchanges and the flyovers. Uh, when is the phase two expected to end? I can't give a definite timeline now, but um, it's in the shortest possible time. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you.